Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical and today we're going to have a look at making a title. In fact what I'm going to do is I want to show you how I made that title that I used in the last video where I had the spinning subscribe button and the text in there that also was moving. So let's use this one here, the Final Cut title and get started making our new title for Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so we've got a few things in there to start with that we don't actually need. So this type text here, we don't need that, so let's delete that. This title background, we'll leave that as it is for the moment. And what we'll do, first of all, is to make ourselves another group, which we're going to use to house our text and our spinning subscribe button. So I'll just type text into there. So let's first of all find our subscribe button then. We'll use the search facility down the bottom here. I think this is the one that we want. And we can drag that and drop that into this group here. Super duper, got in there. And now we need to just position it in the place where it's going to be, which is down near the bottom. Use our dynamic uh, lining up tools there if I can find it. There we go, it's now it's centered. In fact, what I think I might do is I might just extend this out a bit to make it a bit longer. Of course, I've changed exactly how that works now, so I'm going to have to uh, recenter it. Okay, that'll be lovely, that will. We'll have that spinning in a moment or two. And we're also going to put a background in there, and we're going to put some other text in this. Let's find our other text. This is the one that we want. So I'm just going to drag this and drop this into our screen here. There we go. Okay, so we've got our text in there. We've got our subscribe button in there. Now let's see if we can get this subscribe button to move. Now what I originally thought would be a good idea would be to select the subscribe button and to go to the library go to behaviors and to the basic motions and use this one here called spin so let's do that and see what happens and there it is stuck on there now we've got this heads up display we can do some changing of what happens with that one there but first of all i think it's probably an easier thing to do rather than doing it with the uh, mouse or trackpad but going to the inspector i want it to spin on the x-axis and i want to change the amount of spin by turning this here that's going to spin but there is going to be a little bit of a problem so let's just play that and just see what the problem's going to be it's fine for the first part of it but look what happens for the second part it's shown us the upside down and back to front face and that's not really what we want is it so we're gonna to have to do this a different way aren't we and we'll get rid of our spin behavior off there what we're going to have to do with that instead is we're going to have to do that with some keyframing. So let's go to our inspector, to the properties. We'll have a look at rotation. We need to see a bit more than what we can see there now. So let's go to this one here. What we want is we want to change it on the X axis, same as before. So the first thing to do is to put our playhead at the start of the timeline. And we'll put in our first keyframe. Then we're going to go to somewhere around about 75 there, which is, I want to have two turns of the button with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll this down until I get it so that it looks like it's moved through 90 degrees. So it's moved through 90 degrees approximately. It doesn't say 90 degrees in there, but we won't worry about that. It's how it looks in the screen. That is the uh, important thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the playhead on by one frame and I'm going to grab this again and keep turning it we don't want that bit there and we're going to move it through 180 degrees so that it is as far as there okay you see where I'm going with this now can't you now we'll move over to the position 150 which is about our midway point and we're going to take this again and we're going to move it again once more until it's at around about the 360 degrees of rotation so that's back where we started again. And then we're going to go to about halfway between those two points there. And again, we're going to spin it around some more. Spin it through 90 degrees. So it looks like the first extra point we made there. Okay, now let's move it to the end. And this time we're going to move it through that last bit to, until we get to the... 720 degrees which is going to be our animation all the way done through to the end so that is our spinning subscribe button which by the way i made in the application called art text 2. let's move the player to the start and press play 
And you can see we've got a nice little spin there. It's going through 90 degrees. Comes back through looking like it's just gone through to the next side again. Perfect. Just what we wanted. Now the next thing to do is to get this text here. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to give it a little bit of an uh, animation. So we need to go to the library. And we'll go to the Grow and Shrink, I think. And then we're going to add our Grow and Shrink to that there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some adjustments to this here in the heads up display. And we're going to stretch it that way and stretch it that way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play and you'll see that that grow and shrink will occur. As the animation is playing, that text gradually gets bigger. It's quite subtle, but subtle is good sometimes. You don't need to, need to have something spinning and flashing on the screen there. And let's put a background in there this time. Let's have a look in content, look in backgrounds. And we could choose any of these here. We could go for a bamboo weave if we wanted to. We could go for chalkboard scratchy. We could have a dark curtain. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's try it and see what that looks like. So let's grab the dark curtain and drag it and drop it into that group there. And as you can see, we've got a nice dark curtain happening there now. So let's press on play and see how that looks. Well, not bad, really. We've got some nice things happening in the background. We've got our subscribe button spinning. Now then, we could actually sort of enhance that a little bit further by putting some other bits on there. Maybe we could uh, go and have a look in our particle emitters and see what we've got there. That looks a bit over the top, but let's just do it anyway. <laughs> let's have some sparkle implosion. Now drag that and drop that into the background here, put it over the top there. Now isn't that just a bit too much? We can change the birth rate of this. Let's bring that down a bit. Okay, so that's that's okay. That's not too bad. We can change the life of it. We can change the scale of it as well. So I make it bigger, or we can make it smaller. I think smaller might be better on that there. I'm quite liking that. I'm quite liking that now. It's getting, uh, and we can change the emission range as well. Let's drag that out a bit over there. Drag that out a bit over there. So it kind of goes behind all of where the text is there. Okay, that's good. Let's press play and see what we've got now. Do you know what? That's not bad. I quite like that. It's quite sexy really, isn't it? And we can export it as a movie. Or what we can do is, because we've gone into this as a project for making a title, we can just click on Save. This should save it in the right place. And click on publish so the processing has been done now let's uh, move into final cut pro okay so here we are at the end this is the one that i made before it's slightly different it's got a different got a different background to it but that's okay we can do something different let's uh, take that out of there anyway let's delete that okay so let's select that i should press e put it in at the end of whatever's already there put the playhead there in the timeline and press play And it works perfectly. Just the job. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.